Alright. <laughs> hey guys, here's a bonus episode of uh, Pup Pup Goes to the Moon. Guess what I figured out to do? Crap, I am not. Damn it. What, what is happening? What is happening? Things, everything's going wrong. Give me a second, sorry. Okay, now I'm here, I think. What is happening? Click on the window. I, I am clicking on the window. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? Pup Pup's controlling the, the, the game with his mind. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we're, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Sorry about that, sorry about the technical difficulties. <laughs> what is happening, guys? It's like your mouse is constantly clicking. <laughs> no! Which is a big problem in this game, because as soon as you click on something, he goes somewhere. Here, let me try it. And then he's gonna have to be right... He's gonna have to be right... Bear, and then he's gonna have to be right on the bear storming. Crap, this game's gonna be impossible that I'm clicking all the time. Alright, yeah, we're gonna try and play bear storming now. Um, I don't know how, so we'll see. Okay, good, it's, it's controlled with the keyboard, so, hey guys, this is bear storming. It's kinda loud. Um, but basically, you know how there was an error before? I brought my own copy of Pup Pup Goes to the Moon. And installed it in DOSBox. Yeah, and my lovely friend of yours installed in DOSBox. So we're going to attempt to play this really shitty version of Bear Stormin' as a bonus episode. Because Windows Bear Stormin' won't work on his computer for some reason. Right, yeah. So basically the object of this game is just to get balloons, and it gets way harder. So we're just I'm just going to play it as long as I want. And yeah. Get the blue one! I missed it, well. You're a failure. Uh Reminds me of the time when blue M&Ms came out. Oh man, that was an exciting time! So basically you play as Fatty Bear, who is like, sort of a random side humongous character that pops up somewhere sometimes. I I've never played a Fatty Bear game before, honestly. Oh, the balloons give you, uh, fuel by the way. Yeah, I've never played a Fatty game, Fatty Bear game before, but I always see ads for them in all the other games. I've never smoked a Fatty before. I've never smoked a Fatty with Smokey before, but... Smokey the Fatty Bear. It sounds fun. Crap, why am I not? Okay. And here comes the enemies. They are farm animals on with like jetpacks and shit. Completely logical. Um, on a goose. Right. On a goose. <laughs> so this is like the beginning of the mini games within games that Humongous has. The famous one, which I'm a big fan of, is uh, some of the the Spy Fox ones. Then they ended up creating an entirely different Spy Fox game out of like the inspiration of the mini games it's called Cheese Chase, which is really fun. It has like 80 something levels and is. Sounds fun. We're getting a little bit of glitchy, laggy sh shit, but whatever. We're gonna keep going because we're awesome. Well, you realize you're emulating yes, DOS. I'm, I'm emulating DOS and while recording it. All right, yeah, we're just gonna drive through people's barns because we're awesome. Oh, it's called ba bear barn barnstorming. Bear barn bear <laughs> get up, get up, get up! Wow, it's really laggy. It is, but I'm you know I'm I'm holding my own. I can't promise I'll get past level 10, but... Okay, we're good. <laughs> god, I've, I've used to play this game all the time when I was little. Oh my god. Just hours. Hours and hours. The music is so funny. Oh my god. The music's all fucked up. Yep. Woo! It's high a, score! It's a high score. I wish I was brawny and strong enough to start a fucking airplane like that. Oh my god. I think that's just because you, you start the engine and then you need to turn the engine over because it's an old plane. Uh, yep. It's not like you actually like twist the propeller fast enough that the plane just flies. <laughs> Dude, Fatty Bear is ripped. Oh! <laughs> that was a close call. Fatty Bear is fucking ripped, man. Like, you don't even know. He, like, has a bow flex and everything. Oh, damn it. The controls are so shitty. The controls are already pretty bad for this game, but it's already really laggy, so... I remember this being really, really hard when I was younger. I would just, like, fuck up like crazy. And, oh god! I'm refraining from making a do a barrel roll joke, because, you know, that would be a little obvious, but, uh... Use brakes wisely! Use the boost to get through! That too, use the boost to get through. Use bombs wisely. But there's no bombs in this game. Yet. I wish there were. <laughs> Yes. Bomb oh, now there's trees and signpost. No, that's not a signpost. It's a fucking telephone pole with nothing attached to it. It's a random pole for no reason. 
Let's let's just find out how many levels there are, and maybe I'll just fit it all into one video somehow. Oh my god, the music is so glitchy. Everything is so glitchy. <laughs> but we're running it, and we're recording it, because we're, cause we're resilient. Rebels. We're rebels. Rebel scum. Yeah, okay. No enemies, surprisingly. That's nice. That's a good change. Hey, I bet later on they'll combine the ground obstacles with enemies. Whoa, what? I don't think so. I'm gonna have a Swedish fish. Mmm. Mmm. We gotta take one. They're nice and fresh. Damn it. Fuck up. I'm not gonna fuck up. Oh, this is this is so re <coughs> so relaxing as I choke on a Swedish fish. A fish from Sweden. Oh, uh, sorry to our Swedish viewers who offended. Yeah, I was I was so disappointed in like middle school when I looked on the package and it's like made in I forget where it's made somewhere in the U.S. Some are really stupid. <coughs> Die for it! Oh! Music is so glitchy. Who cares? Yeah, and then I'm sure after it's after it's compressed and processed on YouTube, it will just be even better. <laughs> so bad. I love how there's always two extra planes because you're supposed to get hurt. Right. You're like yeah. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that that would be right. Well, dude, who knows? Maybe there's like a hundred levels or a thousand levels, and it just gets insane by the end. We'll find out. Oh, don't hit the bottom. Don't hit the bottom. Don't hit the bottom. <laughs> gotta, yeah. love, gotta love the noises. The tons of extra levels actually adds replay value to this game. So that on the package they could say it has 90 hours of game. Right. <laughs> Holy crap! That's a lot more balloons than usual. Yeah, you know, the the online multiplayer on Xbox Live for this one is really good. I really got my money's worth. I really got my $60 worth, you know I mean? Sitting here on, on my headset, pwning... Noobs. Oh no! I died! It froze. <laughs> it froze and then I hit a tree. I was too. Whoa, that was cool. I was too busy talking about mocking Xbox shit. Sorry, um. Dude, dude, use use the plasma rifle. N dude, man, I didn't I didn't buy it with my Microsoft points. My mom wouldn't let me buy my Microsoft points card this week, and I ugh, I'm sorry. Dude. Maybe next, maybe next week. I can't, I can't get my new leopard armor. New downloadable content. Yeah, my DL, my DLC. DLC. Oh man, I crashed. That's not gonna be good. Yeah, you're not, you're not doing so well. Yeah. You're not so hot. <laughs> so I wonder if the balloons give you points or if just the fuel gives you points. Because the points seem kind of kind of extremely arbitrary. But the fuel gets drained a bit, so. That does add to your points. Maybe it's just how much fuel you have at the end or something like that. Look, 7,072, that's pretty random. That's awesome, that is so cool. Fatty Bear is my idol, I should play, I should LP one of his games. Blind. Oh, here, oh, you're, look who called it. Sky enemies and land But they'll enemy. be spaced up so you can dodge both. Right. Even though I almost hit Techno Goose there. God, if you had killed Techno Goose. That'd be terrible. That'd be the end of yeah, what happens when you hit, I'm kind of curious what happens when you hit them. You just slaughter. You actually don't they, die. You yeah, just, so yeah. They, the propeller turns red and blood And it grinds them up and Fatty Bear eats the meat. <laughs> wow, that was close. Stars and children, thank you. <laughs> it's vegetarian propaganda. Oh, those vegetarians, they are, they're troublemakers, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, shit. Pigs? Wait, what is the other animal? Well, besides the keys. I would support this if you vegetarian property. Yeah, p this is a game by PETA, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they paid Humongous Entertainment a ton of money to have <laughs> So they didn't actually have to sell any copies of Putt Putt to right. make money. It actually, yeah. You're not really seeing them right now, but it's... Double Techno Goose! But it <laughs> Double Techno Goose! All the way across the sky. sky! Yeah, saw that coming. They actually spl splice really violent images of, like, animals being slaughtered, like, really quickly in, be in between for, like, subliminal messaging. You can't really see it, but... Tonight you're gonna have nightmares about that, I'm telling you. Let's get to 10,000. I wonder how long this video is gonna be, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, people are gonna stop watching. 
Just a separate, a separate bear storm in LP. <laughs> I swear, you guys, if you watch this whole video, you're a loser. Yeah, you, you need to get a life. Double balloon across the same case. Double techno <laughs> goose. Um, yeah, oh, you, the techno gooses are out in force. They really are. I'm, I'm. All right, whatever. I'm wondering uh, if, if you know, someday you'll have like a techno goose who you will have, you know, announce things in your LP. Whoa! Quad Technogoose. Quad Technogoose, that'd be really cool. You know, like, and then it would announce things. And then it would, like, announce the, the numbers on the countdown, like, kind of robotically. Like a parrot. Yeah, like a I mean, what? <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to send a shout-out to, uh... John Tron. John Tron, you're awesome. Anyways, um... What the... Oh, <laughs> now there's barrels attached to the balloons, which... What is... What does that do? It's so that if you hit the wrong part of the balloon, you die. And for coolness. And it makes the sploochy sound. You feel more badass. Sploosh. This is a violent... This is a violent game. For a car. <laughs> <laughs> that car just died! It did. That's a powerful balloon. What is in these balloons? Jeez. That's like... That's like violent for Putt-Putt, isn't it? That is pretty violent. Like, because Putt-Putt is a car. So that was like a human... Holy crap! Moon and then dying. Mind blown! So Putt Putt is into violent video games. Putt Putt is into yeah killing. Oh, his you own got a free life. That's awesome. I wonder if you could have got four planes and then it would have clogged up the screen. Yeah. Yeah. So you you saw it there, folks. Putt Putt is into killing his own people. Okay. Ugh, now we. Damn it! Okay. Well, <laughs> I had an extra life for a minute. You're on level thirteen. I'm on lucky level. I'm on level thirteen. Beware the Ides of 13. It doesn't make any sense. Levels, I think, are randomly generated with, like, a special... Like, numbers probably determining the amount of obstacles. Yeah, I think you're right. Because... Crap, a piano! It's pretty obvious that they're not, like, from seeing you replay a level. Yeah, it's not totally the same. So maybe it is unlimited levels, and it's just like... Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! This is hard! This is getting hard! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, Fatty Bear almost died. The last one he had to come like, chase after. Alright, sorry guys if I die here. Um, jeez, that'll, that'll be depressing. We won't yeah. get to see how many levels are in this I, game. I don't think, I don't think you're gonna go back. If you die. No, yeah, sorry guys. I don't think I'm gonna like play all the way back up to 13 and then come back and show you. I mean, I already. I'm not, you know, I'm not a hardcore bear storm. Yeah. <laughs> you mean I, I I didn't go to bear storm and con 11 this year. <laughs> You know, there's 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 a really like big cult fan base, but I'm just not really I'm not dedicated enough right right yet. Hey, right, right yet, right yet, right yet, right yeti, right yeti. Fair, fair, fair. All right, well we made it to 14, which oh, is animation my favorite dance, number. Like two different images. Wow, you start with yeah. no fuel now, so you have to get the crap. Move. Okay, this is all of a sudden this game's like way hard. This is evil. Holy crap, you have to get, I think you have to get pretty much every single balloon. Actually, I think I know what this game is now. This game is like... Propaganda... Crap! To like, make kids hate arcade games. I, I, think, you, like, I think you have it, my friend. Humongous Entertainment was... Dude! You ran out of fuel. Dude! Humongous Entertainment is... Is a... Uh, game over! Is a PC game maker. And so they don't want you playing arcade games. So they're gonna make it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you, and the kids will be like, I HATE ARCADE GAMES! It's like that bear storm in shape. Yeah. <laughs> that was entertaining. Kind that of. was semi-entertaining. Well, there you go. How much you want to bet this 15 levels? <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Or 20. I'm not going to go and look. But there you go. We booted that game. Well, my friend booted that game out of fucking nowhere. And we got to play it. So that was nice. And that's the end of this LP. Finally. It's finally over. We're done with the moon. We're done with the lunar bullshit. Techno Goose! Techno Goose, yeah, and maybe we'll see Techno Goose in Pajama Sam. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, are you afraid of the dark? We'll find out next time. Alright. See ya! Peace out.